Hey, hello everyone, how you all doing? In this video, we are going to talk about the iPhone 7 battery issues and how can we prevent that. So, before starting this video, I want to introduce a really dope website to you guys. Have you ever heard of GoDeal? Well, Keyhoff helps you install the Windows 10 and you can purchase the Windows 10 from their store at a really, really effective price. Like, for example, if you are going to buy Windows Windows 10 from Microsoft they are going to charge you a lot and the price difference between Microsoft and key off is a lot also if you are going to buy Windows 10 from key off they have 24 7 service available so if you have any query related any doubt related to your purchase you can anytime contact them you can also use coupon code vbx20 to get extra 20 percent off and make your purchase while uh, just checking out you can just use this code and do it it is really simple now back to the video you know i have been back it's been quite a few days that i have been back to my studio i have been using my iphone 7 quite often now and what I have noticed is that the battery recently on iOS 15 betas have been really, really bad. In this video, I'm going to talk about some fixes. And at the end of this video, I'm going to also recommend you guys doing some tips and tricks, which will be like permanent fix for you guys if you want to be on iOS 15 and uh, do not want to downgrade to iOS 14. All right. So talking about the first fix, what you can do is the number one is I have also made a video on how to downgrade i from ios 15 to ios 14 you can check that out link will be below the like button and the thing is that it is really really simple these days to downgrade your i device and it is like a really simple you just have to click one button and that's pretty much it uh, the software will do its thing and you will have all of your stuff you don't need to back up or anything you just need to downgrade that's the number one fix that you can do in order to get better battery life because i guess already have much better battery life in my experience compared to ios 15 beta then the number two is if you guys already are not aware about it background app refresh you need to turn off background refresh background app refresh as soon as you can like here is a recording how you can do it on the screen as you can see just turn off background refresh also i have a shortcut for you guys how you can set that up is just go into the shortcut tab then go in automation and follow all these steps that i'm doing in this video on the screen as you can see and after doing this what will happen is whenever you plug your device in the charger and whenever you remove your device from the charger it will automatically turn on low power mode and you know what it is seriously effective and i have noticed there is a difference and i have got like 30 minutes of extra screen on time if not more than that sometimes so low power mode does help a lot and by a lot i mean seriously a lot so try turning off low power mode if you do not game on your device much if you do do not turn on low power mode because it do hit the frame rates and all it does the frame rates go down really quickly as soon as you turn on low power mode then comes with these battery issues also heating i have heard a lot of you guys talking about the heating issues on iphone 7 yes i am aware about it don't worry heating on iphone 7 and in fact on any device on a, a beta software especially ios 15 betas i know betas are not the best in terms of this thing you know if your device is getting warm is getting heated up it is normal just don't panic i know you guys just go into my comment section and dms over on twitter at the rate tech hype if you do have any query i do uh, respond to pretty much everyone on my twitter you can just shoot dm to me and uh, ask whatever i device query uh, you guys have and i will try my best to solve it there is not a lot that you can do in order to prevent heating the number one thing that i uh, do not do actually is do not use your device while it is on charger because that charging your device and using your device at the same time that is the 
like what thing you can do to your iphone especially when you have an iphone old as iphone 6s 7 or 8 well that's pretty much it for today's video if you do find this video helpful entertaining consider hitting the subscribe button for more videos like these and if you didn't find this video helpful if i did not answer your question or your query just shoot a dm over on my twitter at the rate tech hive or you can also leave a comment down below i respond to every comment as soon as i can so that's pretty much it. Peace out and thank you so much for watching this video.